Okay. Hi, my beautiful people. <clears throat> uh, it's been a long while. I've missed you guys already. Ah, uh, yeah. So, by a popular request, you guys want me to uh, do a video tutorial on the content management system. So, stay, stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to do that for you right away. And I'm going to actually use that was what we should have used, you know, uh, if we had internet, so that I show you the steps. Okay. All right. So today I'm going to show you the step by step way of getting the content management system set up. Then you can do your administration. Now, to kickstart, you open your browser. Because I'm recording, I don't know whether you guys can see it, but if you can see it, this simple as opening your own browser. Then go to type Drupal.org. Drupal okay. Now, when Drupal.org comes, this is what actually is presented to you. Drupal has gone through so many phases, okay? And today we have the most current versions of Drupal. But, uh, so, you go to Drupal Core, you see, Drupal Core. You click on it. So when this comes up, it goes straight. Now you can see that Drupal has seven, eight, nine. Now the point is Drupal started from one up to now currently it is at the ninth edition. So what I introduced to you was the seventh edition. So on the page here, okay, you can click on Drupal Core 7. This is what you guys are most confident with. So please stay stay with it. Okay, so you click on Drupal Core 7 point. H2. Now you click on the zip file. So it's going to download this particular Drupal core for us. Right? Uh, I have been able to uh, download the most current version. I don't, I don't advise that you guys use the current version because you might not be that uh, good at it you know, the first time. So you see, this is the latest version. You can see it looks very perfect, like a perfect website. Okay, I have not done much about it, but I can do quite a lot of things with this. But I can develop a whole website with this, and then. Drop big money, you get it. Drop big money with this, All right? So you guys uh, stick to the uh, seven, okay? So now let's go and check. Okay, it's finished. Now we would send this over by right clicking and clicking on extract files. Now. You continue, click, locate your web server. In this case, I'm using the map. Then you click on HD Docs. Okay. Then you send it there. So by now, it's ready. So all you can do is just to go into the drive C, go into map, HD Docs. And you should find it there you see once it's here you can rename it into whatever uh, name you want to call it so let's call this um, what names come to mind ha uh, i'll mention 
Hillary. Yeah, Hillary is Hillary is the capital. Hillary is your name or is it your name? I think Hillary. Maybe they're supposed to be Hillary, right? Hillary, yeah. Hillary. Okay. So the usual thing to do is to go into your sites folder, default, then copy and paste this. That you guys should be very conversant to it by now. Now rename this into settings. Okay. Now don't forget to give it the security permissions, you know, full control. Okay. Now you come out. Now what I always do as a how do you call it? housekeeping measure to ensure that i have full control i right click again on this this one i've not taught you but it's simple the same thing that i've been teaching you okay just come back then do the same thing to the folder okay so that you give full control to drupal to do whatever it needs to do okay so at this point we have finished with the web server site settings okay so we have to call up the php my admin i have my php running already so i click on database now call this hillary now i always advise that if you are developing a site make sure the name of the folder okay is the name the database you are trying to use or trying to create it makes it easy for you to easily identify which folder belongs to which uh the database okay so i create it now once i've created this i know that the username is root the password is what root i'm using map don't forget it so i go ahead call up my local host And I type in Hillary. All right. Then enter. Now it gives me this. The moment you get this page, wow, you know, it means you are almost 90% through with your work. Then save and continue. Save and continue. Now here, the database you created, don't forget. So in my case, it's Hillary. And database the name is root password is root okay then we continue save and continue all right so now this always close out this okay so you patiently wait for it to get started now when you get this page now this is where you configure the administration the site administrators uh, credentials so here the site name you want to call this um department of management science email will come now as i told you i love to use webmaster so if you want to also use webmaster we have at liberty put in my password that no one should know okay so here the just attempt uh let's time can i see okay Ghana comes up I will type Africa. I will see a crowd there. I will leave all this on default and save. Voila. If your machine is fast, like mine, it should take you less than a second. But if yours is like Hillary's Toshiba, 
then you know you are in trouble. You have to just wait. Hey, Annette. <laughs> Annette, your machine, your your office machine. This is what you take on time more. Anyway, that was just by the way. Hi. So you click on visit your new site and voila. There we have it. Okay. Very simple. And nice. And clean. Very simple, nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Simple, nice and clean. See if we even do this, it looks like very flexible, right? Very, very flexible. Now, what we gotta do is this powered by two power, we don't want it. Okay, so what do we do? We go to structure, we go to blocks, we scroll down, then you see powered by dropper. We don't want it, so we'll choose none. Okay, and then we we'll save the button or we'll save the blocks. And we'll go back there, and voila, dropper powered by dropper has vanished. We are tweaking, in other words, we are managing the site like that. Okay, now there's something I don't like here. I don't like seeing this particular guy. His head is looking in some way. I don't like it. So what do I do? Simple. I go to appearance. Then click on settings. You can see that here is shown as the default. So it's shown here as settings or the enable things. Right? So you click on the settings here. You go down. Because we don't want to use the default default logo we can just click on this and then change it with our own logo right so i don't i don't know which logo i have but in the meantime because i don't want to see any logo i just disable this right and i'll save it okay save it and more so to uh, i could change the color of what we are seeing there to something something different something different what color can i change it to maybe let me in this case i would consult w3 schools i'll go to uh, this area and say html colors it's a fine color I've seen here that i can use let's see so i use green is not bad particular shade of green that I can use okay let me use let me use this green let me use this green oh. sorry eh? This color coding is not nice for me. Let me go in here and choose another color coding. Let me see. I think this is not bad. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so there are better color codes here mm. okay, so this lemon green is looking beautiful light green light green and we can copy it All right it's as simple as just copy the color code then I will come to the top here and then replace it It with that. Yeah, I think it's looking some part of it. It doesn't look the same again, so I'll save it. I'll go back to my home. Yeah, I think it's looking somewhat different from the usual one. Okay, so now what do we do now? You can see that here we have welcome to department of management science. Okay, we don't have any content. So what do we do? We click on add new content and click on 
basic page. So instead of saying we can let me go back. Okay, let me go back. And I'll copy this guy. Okay, before I click on this, I want to create another content so that I can make do away with that. So this here, welcome to department of welcome to the department of so here we come and I would get some info here. What kind of entity can I get? Mm. Let me go online or let me just use something that could give me some info introduction let me see introduction okay 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 i want to use some okay usually let me use the tables let me some list that there Okay. Then I could use the list. And the list I'm looking beautiful. Let me just use the table. Okay. So I'll copy this. So in copying the table, we will come here. Just copy the table section. Okay. Then end table. That's all. You don't copy the body. Let's copy table to table. Then you come make sure you activate this to full html then you paste okay now I'm just want to provide want to provide it with a uh, menu so you say home page right now description here is not necessary you can you can just leave it it's not necessary yeah you leave it as it is then you come to now this is very important so with this because i want to always note or take note of the particular menu, uh, 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 url i will refer to it as welcome okay then i save so this is what comes now having done this i'll go straight up to configuration right no sorry i think we have two so we have this and that showing so in order for me to take out one because i created the home page myself i will take out this so to take out this i go to structure go to menus then list menu links then i will take out this now confirm yeah, so now I can see that I have only one page showing. Then close out. Then I go to configuration. Now I can go to configuration and go and change this from node to welcome. All right. I'll save it. Go back again to my home. And voila, I have so if I even click on this. To still present this to me so this becomes my home page isn't it looking beautiful yeah so to add more content now there was this other content i wanted you guys to to take notes of that is the web form but because uh, it's going to take a whole uh, session i might not i don't want to do that and then uh, short change you guys so what i'll do is i'll just add one more content so you can click here to add more content or you can click here to add more content it change, doesn't change anything the same thing okay. so i click here and then click on basic then here i'll type in the 
history history of HTU SMS then here I'll put in some gibberish so let's come here and see whether we'll get some some data Mm. Comments, let me see about comments. Not that much. Elements, let me see. Okay. So let me just copy this. I wanted something that has more HTML stuff. Right. So much, let me see. Okay, quotations to no bad brow. Quotations should be fine. I think this one is good. Let me go and use this. Quotes. So I'll copy this. Okay. Let's see what the full thing is here. Okay. Not bad. So I'll close out of this. Once I've copied this, make sure turn this to full HTML. Don't forget, I paste my HTML stuff in it. Then I'll provide a link to it. So here, history I just say about us, about us. URL, just type about. Right. And that's it. So now you realize that when we save, this has actually come before that. Simple. To change that, you go back again to menus, click on main menu. Now you can rearrange the matter of dragging. See, and just drag, turn this up. That's all. And you save it. Okay. You go back, then everything comes back to normal. See. Alright, so. This is what I'm talking about. If you're able to do this, you should be fine. So maybe in the question, I might make you create more pages, okay? More, more links. And so this is the easiest way to get your site working. All right, so you log out. This is what you have, okay? This is what you have. So if you want to log in, you can still use this login. Voila, your site is working. Okay, so thank you so much for staying tuned with me and for how do I say enjoying my precious. All the best. If you have any questions, feel free to come to me. All right. Okay. Bye.